After spending seven weeks living and working from my home state of Florida, I returned back to Guatemala on Saturday. It's so nice to be back in the eternal spring of Guatemala City. Yeah, baby, it's 2022. Here we go again. I arrived back in the early afternoon and there was no time to waste on this Saturday. Okay, I am back in Guatemala City and I'm at the Oakland Mall today. I got some errands to run uh, around town today, but uh, you know, I was here in Guatemala most of the time between March and November of last year left on November 27th. It's now January 15th, exactly seven weeks later. I am back in Guatemala City and I got some bills to pay and some errands to run, so we're gonna get a little day back in Guatemala City. Okay, one of the things I need to do is pay my phone bill. Claro is a local phone company here. I've got a local Claro SIM card and uh, my bill is actually due today, my monthly bill, so I pay one month in advance, so I'm gonna get caught up. That cost me 199 Kipsalis per month, which is about $25 a month, unbelievable. Uh, that's why you get the local SIM card here. I don't even have a phone back in the US anymore since I've been living here so long. So uh, worked out for me, go Clara. Well, I was hungry and there's a great food court here with lots of options, but on the first day back in Guatemala, there's only one choice. It's time for some pollo campero. Well, I noticed right outside the Oakland Mall, there is now a new food truck area. Might need to check this out sometime. This new crosswalk here is really great. I actually uh, usually cross the street down there, but to have this here now makes it so much easier because this road can get really busy, especially on the weekdays. Remember these uh, buildings were under construction for a while. They still uh, are, especially this one on the left, but they're almost done. And uh, when I first came here in March of 2021, um, they were, you know, probably not even halfway done. So it's, uh, it's nice here, two new buildings in zone 10, condo buildings going up, looking really, really good here. This one on the other hand is still under construction, but looking good, looking good. Okay, I just got my uh, haircut today here at uh, Talking Heads. I've been here a few times uh, in the last year and uh, they always do a great job. Um, you actually get your hair washed, then you get it cut, then you get it washed, then you get it dried. All for like $15, $20. It's great, great deal. So good job Talking Heads here in La Estacion in Zone 10, back in Guatemala City. Time to take a short Uber ride. All right, gotta get some uh, food and groceries and supplies for the house. So, Walmart it is. Yes, there's our, there are Walmarts in Guatemala. Well, I just had to end my evening, my first day back in Guatemala City at the Caranto Club here in Zone 4. Zone 4 is so cool. Lots of great restaurants and um, bars and lounges and things like that. But what's really crazy is it's so quiet here tonight. It's a uh, Saturday night. There was literally nobody at the Caranto Club for the two hours I was there. Almost never seen that on a Saturday evening. So a little weird, but uh, gonna go try to get some food before some things close up here. So uh, good first day back in Guatemala City. Well, I found some food at Le Apero in Zone 4, one of my favorite places to get some pizza. That concludes my first day back in Guatemala. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content.